use the just use your finger now to scratch out those trunks and branches and dips and dabs. There's a smaller one next to it. Where the sort of land's jutting up between the bits of snow. Now I might just put in this far side of the bank. That's all. Comes around from there. I'll do that in before I forget. I'm just going to wet this part. Obviously, make sure it's all dry down here first. And I'm just going to put the reflections of these trees in in the water. So I've got a sort of smaller reflection there, a bit darker. A bigger one there. And then I might even put in it's not the greatest reflection, but just sort of try and get in some of these twigs and stuff. Just mop up that bit of water that's accumulating at the bottom. It's still going to keep dry. In fact, what I want to do, because I've come down too far, I'm just going to take out part of this. Put straight across it because this is the foreground. Bit of the foreground. I'm just going to use plenty of water for this bit because I don't want. Any water. I'm just going to give it a very, very quick sweep. Give that a quick dry.
bigger tree in this, in this corner here. Need something there, it's a bit of a bit of a gap, so I'm just gonna mix a bit of burnt umber, ultramarine. I'm gonna try and just cut across into this lighter area out with the with the contrast a bit. Just using the uh, the height. I mean, you can do this with a rigger if you want, but I prefer to use the hike. Yeah, maybe. Just a few bits and pieces in the ground. Maybe a few rocks, use the please take the card. Mm. Scrape a few rocks out. Maybe take the uh in fact before I forget. This is just a few leaves on this near side tree. I'm just going to dip into the uh, burnt umber. I've just scuffed the air, the the, the airs up. Burnt umber, ultramarine, then just just very lightly. Just a few a few dead leaves on the tree. That'll do for that. Maybe just dip the brush again into the. Uh... I didn't have to clean it, but I've dipped it in again just so I've got the airs back together. And then same mix again burnt umber, ultramarine. I'm using plenty of water so when I put it in, you can see how the airs just remain together as I'm. Mixing the paint. If they start to split apart, then that's basically when we've got not enough water. And then I can just suggest a few fence posts. So I'll start with the one there, and another one there. Back into the paint, make sure I don't run out of paint. There, and then a few cross pieces. A few little bits and pieces lying around. Uh, maybe a few little birds. So, just into that dark mix, but plenty of water, take the excess off, and then somewhere in the lighter area will look best, I think. Maybe I'll see them better. One there, one there, maybe. Be the one there flying over. I think I'll call that one done. Back into the dark mix with the rigger, and then just pop his signature in the corner. You pop the yard as well if you want. And that's another painting finish. That's a that's a winter scene by Lock Guy. Thanks for watching.
keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.